today we're going to be painting the Phantom of the Opera. No! Not that one. We're talking the man of a thousand faces. We're talking the manifester of deformity. We're talking Lon Chaney Sr. Don't get it twisted. Don't step on a lizard or a spider. It might be Lon Chaney. That's what people used to say about him. Or at least, or at least that's what magazines used to say about him to promote his movies. Lon Chaney was a stage and film actor, director, screenwriter, and probably most famously a makeup artist, which he was truly a groundbreaking artist in, and definitely a total masochistic lunatic for. And that's why we love him. Both of Lon Chaney's parents were deaf, so he had to pantomime in order to communicate with them. And that came in handy when he started a career as a stage actor. He transitioned into acting on the screen. Eventually he became something of a package deal for studios because he was a skilled makeup artist and eventually moved from being a character actor to being a leading star. A leading star! He played an amputee in this movie called The Penalty, and the plot is actually pretty wild. He's accidentally amputated as a child, and then becomes a vengeful kingpin of the underworld and plots an insane revenge on the doctor who amputated him by amputating the doctor's fiance's legs and grafting them onto his own. But as the proverb goes, an amputation for an amputation makes the whole world unable to run. The perverse amount of discomfort that he inflicted on himself for his art. He made this leg harness for the penalty, which allowed him to walk on his knees. So his legs were just tied in half at the knees, basically. And that led him to like collapse on set multiple times because he cut off his own circulation. Uh, for the Hunchback of Notre Dame, he wore like a 50 pound rubber cast around his neck on his shoulders. For the Phantom of the Opera, he had a wire going under his nostrils, pulling his nose up. And it had to be like that all day because the wire was under the putty that he used to like sculpt his face. His nose bled a lot. Always uncomfortable. Man of a thousand faces, they should have called him always uncomfortable. This is masochism for art's sake. Man with a thousand faces. What would make a person do that? We convince ourselves that after we inflict sufficient torture to our mind and body, we will find something beyond this little life. Such a mind will find only according to this distortion. J. Krishna Murti. Krishna Murti. One thing I think is really cool about Lon Chaney is that when he blew up and was like a megastar, he like he hated the Hollywood like glamorous lifestyle. And since he was known for playing characters with faces other than his own. He would say that Lon Chaney, between pictures, Lon Chaney doesn't exist because he, he was just very private and stayed out of the limelight and nobody, he wasn't a recognizable person because they only knew the characters that he played. Between pictures, there is no Lon Chaney. He meant it in the way like he just wants to have a private life and when he's not making a movie like publicly he doesn't want to have a presence but i think in like a deeper way 
Like in between my art, I feel like I don't exist sometimes. Like I think it's a tendency to think in that in the, in the literal way. I'm working on it. I'm working real hard on it. I'll feel like if I'm not doing something, then I don't exist. If I'm, if I'm not making a painting, I don't exist. On another level of it, in between social media po posts, I don't exist. I look in the mirror and I see light reflecting on a face. Who am I? Something to hide behind. Who are you? I'm an artist. Oh, let me see some of your work. Boom. I have an out on that interaction. Don't have to go any deeper there. In between art, there is no take art out of it. In between whatever crappy job I have to take when I'm not selling enough art. In between crappy jobs, there is no Parker Winans. I'm who are you? I'm, I'm an artist. All right, no more hands, no more eyes, and no getting cute because I'm taking your feet too. Who are you? I'm an artist. I'll rub my face against the canvas. Stroke, the side of your brain that would even give you that thought, gone. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What do you do? You're not what you do. You're not the circumstances that you find yourself in. Because those things, those things can disappear. Details available at this time. Report suspicious activity and then call 911 for immediate response. Expect delays, searches of personal property, and restricted access to public buildings. Expect traffic delays and restrictions. Take personal security precautions to avoid becoming a victim of an attack. Avoid crowded public areas and gatherings. Do not travel into areas affected by the attack or in a known area of elevated virus activity.